Hi y'all, I have the most delicious fish taco recipe. I mean, and it's easy. All you're gonna do is season some fish and broil it, make some crunchy slaw and some creamy taco sauce, and it all goes in a tortilla. And before you know it, you're eating something so healthy, so delicious, so colorful. Before we get started, I'm Claudia with Eat Color with Claudia. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe and hit that button and give me a like. We need a white fish, like a mild fish, like a mahi-mahi or what I've got tonight, a tilapia. And I chose a tilapia because it's so easy to find. It's always in the grocery store. Let's prepare the fish. The first thing I'm gonna do is really dry it well with some paper towels. Salt both sides of the fish because this will really bring out its flavor. We wanna make a little rub. So we're gonna start with some chili powder, not quite a tablespoon, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of onion powder. These spices here, it's gonna bring out that fun, zesty flavor of the fish, I tell you. And then we're gonna sprinkle it on. And this is like a dry rub. So after we sprinkle it on pretty heavily, we're gonna to wanna to pat it, pat it in and turn them over. And let's uh, get the seasonings on the other side too. Okay, you're gonna to have to really wash your surface and your hands really well after putting this rub on. And now we're just gonna set this tilapia aside and let it, it's fine. It's gonna get a little bit more room temperature because I just took it out of the refrigerator. And now, Let's make our slaw. I want to use some red cabbage. And you can see I just have a just a little wedge of it. Now there are many ways to shred lettuce. And but you know what? I just use a tried and true way with a knife. Then you just slice these little ribbons. Bite your slaw into a bowl. Add oh a little pinch of salt and some celery salt if you have it. We're also gonna add some lime juice, but I like to keep my slaw crunchy because the fish is gonna be soft. So you want that combination of, you know, soft and crunchy. So, and obviously the lime juice might make this, you know, it's gonna add some moisture to it. So we're gonna add in the lime juice at the very last minute. Okay, slaw's done. Now we've gotta make a fish taco sauce. And now this particular recipe is from Savory Experiments. And I absolutely love their taco sauce because it's just got such great flavor. I'm gonna make one cup. So it's a half a cup of the Greek yogurt and about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Half of a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon cumin, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, quarter teaspoon salt, tablespoon of white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a fourth of a cup of chopped cilantro, and blend it up. Mm, this looks amazing. Oh, and I know it tastes good. Mmm, so tangy, so spicy, oh, it's perfect. This good, great fish taco sauce. Now's the time, if you like some avocado, some fresh cilantro is always good, and maybe some jalapeno, go ahead and get that all ready, because now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get our um, tortillas ready, and then we'll get that fish in. Now, I just warm these up. Well, first of all, I like the corn tortillas, but you can also use flour tortillas. And we really find that just warming them up on the skillet is really the best way for the tortillas to hold their shape. Let them sit on each side for about 30 seconds or so. And that's all you gotta do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with foil to keep them warm. You can now transfer your fish to just like a baking sheet here, a baking pan. And because this is a dry rub, we don't need any oil or anything. And now we're gonna broil it. Okay, so when you go to your broiler, make sure you check your rack and that the rack is like not on the tippy top, but maybe one down from it. And then we're just gonna watch it. And the trick is when this starts to turn brown, you'll know that it's done. I'll show you. Can you see how the fish turned it a little brown on top and it's opaque. And so now I'm just gonna kind of reach in and look at that. It's flaking right in two pieces. Just, just what we want. And it just took about, oh, I, I took about, it could take anywhere between like five 
and eight minutes, just depending on your broiler. And this just cooked perfectly, you guys. We've got everything ready. And remember, we've got to add a little bit of lime juice to our slaw and mix this up a little bit. I use these lime wedges to kind of line up and hold up the tacos because we don't want tacos like falling all over the place, right? So this is just such a nice little hack that really works. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna use the lime anyway on my tacos, right? You're gonna squeeze that lime juice on there. You wanna place your slaw in. fish. We want some avocado. And now this creamy, delicious taco sauce. Of course, we got to put some fresh cilantro on there, right? These are amazing. I know you like my little trick here, but the lime, that's <laughs> so much fun. Anyway, let me just give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I'm sure are here eating this. Mmm. Y'all, these are so good. These are better than a restaurant. I'm not kidding. You've got to make these homemade. And until next week, y'all, bon appetit.